was approaching so quickly he had trouble supporting his posture. Durgan, head into the dark labyrinth. The order is to find the truth that lies in the darkness. Through the ability to do so, you are the chosen one, to be the leader of your party. Husband gradually fades away into thin air. You must remember that you are not fighting alone. Your strength will increase with the trust of your comrades. The trust of lost is lost, you will vanish into the darkness of the labyrinth. The voice was despairing and hollow as if coming from far away. I was a happy man, had friends, had loved ones. I understand now as I die. Even the worst of hardships and tragedies did not ruin me. At this moment, all of those ordeals are fond memory. The bell has just struck. It is the calling to my funeral. I have yet to see if I will go into heaven or hell. Now a new game mechanic has revealed itself. <clears throat> bunch of new the party rank. Learned a whole bunch of new AAs. Also, Durgan appears to have just leveled up. Oh, so the it's the indicator showing that he's the party leader. Okay. Let's fall back. So, more trust within the party leaves even more strength, huh? I was told long ago that trust is useless. But with you guys, I realize that that is wrong. I feel like this is the team where I belong. Just like that swordsman said, you'll be the leader from now on, so I'll be relying on you. Roger's quest is complete. I accept the swordsman's belief of risking one's own life. Sacrificed his life to execute his duties. Without fear of death, he taught us new techniques. His spirit was trained to be stolid as steel. No matter how much I trained, I would never get close to being like him. But you had a solemn look. The thought of death ran painfully in his mind. As long as I don't give up, I know I can get close to being like that swordsman. Sorry, Durgan. I may be a nuisance, but please bear with me. Alright, those two quests are complete. But along with you guys, I'll be okay in the labyrinth. Never dream with this, but I have a dream. Help those people in town who are sick and wounded. Those who have money and power are able to live in Duhan, but the reality is that people can't even go to the temple. That's the reason I became a priestess. Her deals are different than mine, but I hope we can get along. I'm counting on you, leader. Alright, tutorial! Just a second. The problem with the this bug this time of year is also that it's coming up in com combination with allergies. Now, a brief lesson on trust. Trust represents the strength of the bond between you and your comrades. Your comrades will be dissatisfied with their lack of trust and vice versa. You want to know how your comrades feel about you? View their status. We have a upper at the status screen will indicate indicate trust. Your party rank is kanji. Which they did not translate. You have plenty of potential and qualifying as a respected leader. Careful coming too arrogant. Your true worth will be tested starting here. Good luck. Okay. Come back. Oop. So, um... Am 
amount of spells, so we're just gonna catch it. Okay, more spellcrafting materials, good. Just the one monster, and we're not gonna fight them because they don't want to. They don't really want to fight. They're friendly. So are we. We were parted to a boy who appeared out of nowhere. Adventuring party! Shit, that hurt! Boy, probably a thief, was starting to tear up because the collision was so hard. Oh my, how terrible! The goods are all over the place! The girl bishop ignored the boy and stared sadly at the scattered long swords. The young warriors noticed this and started collecting the swords. He has a pallet swap with one of our party members. Okay, no damage done, we'll still be able to deliver him. Warrior grinned at you in response to your puzzled look. We'd rather go out with our business, but that old man Ledua ain't around. We're just killing some time till Pops gets back. We deliver these to Vigor's shop. The man is low on stock since a bunch of things on a bunch of things ever since the flash. Even though in basic stuff like long swords, we've heard that everything they sell are things that adventurers have brought in. The reality is everyone keeps all the good stuff for themselves, so all the leftover crap gets brought in. So if spare stuff like weapons and armor, you should go sell them at the shop, like I've done. Then they'll be displayed at the shop get some decent money for selling, you know. Are you done talking now? Bilba should be out of boredom. The warrior noticed her and nodded abruptly. Oh, Pew, I was about to fall asleep. I want to go home now. Bilba should started walking hurriedly. Hey, hey, come on, let's go. The boy grabbed the teary-eyed... The warrior grabbed the teary-eyed boy and rushed to catch up with the girl, Bishop. You are already leave the area also. At the instant you see a sword out of the corner of your eye. Where must have forgotten to pick it up? It's like a long sword. Every lesson on items. They have been appraised, they'll be displayed as blah -de blah. Once you equip those types of items, they'll be considered appraised, but misfortune will fall upon a person equipped with a cursed item. Appraisal skills will be done by a bishop or at the shop. Thinking about what to do, the sword toward hand, the trio came back. Hey, give me that back. How dare you rip us off and stop bumping into me? But away from you, the boy handed the girl with a big smile. Yeah, I told you I'd find it. There's nothing to worry about as long as you leave it. Wow! Okay. Girl Bishop showed an impartial smile and looked down at the sword. Ron, this hasn't been appraised yet. We're not going to be able to sell this for a good price. Girl Bishop closed her eyes and started concentrating and looked like she is appraising it. Oh gosh, this is a cursed item. If I had known to myself with this, it would have been... Big on eyes up the wider, she looked at the warrior and the boy thief. 
Oh no. Oh no. Huh? Why are there zombies here? And uh, what gross looking faces? Warrior and boy looked at each other and took a step towards the girl. Stepped in fear, don't fear and stepped back. No, get away from me! Little Bishop let a scream and started running. She abandoned the sword that was in her hand. The girl boy were confused, but they finally figured out what happened and rushed after the girl. Man's sword and Durgan's party were left behind. No, it's not appraisal. No appraisal is a cursed item. The girl bishop was cursed with fear. Okay, excuse me a second. Miss Kitty, get down from there. <clears throat> cursed with fear. A cursed item you appraised when this curse is too strong, your status can become fear sometimes. Fear is not limited only appraiser, other members of your party can be affected also. If you want to play it safe, get your item appraised at the shop. Yeah, pick up the sword hesitantly. You got the betraying sword. Um. Yeah, uh, not touching that. Or rather, not using that. Item. Alright. You're only cast with the curse and weaken the faith of the one who equips it. Also, it's like not as good as my current current weapon anyway, so the hell with that. And a chest. Just kill. That's for potion. Well, once we level up, I can use that for. There are two enemies of close proximity to each other and see if it forms a combined group. Alright. Alright, I don't think these guys are gonna rush. guys are basic enough they don't need allied actions for these guys. Yep, yeah, a couple more fights and kill probably level up. Speaking of the devil. Alright, actually, you know what? Let's use a double slash on you. I suspect. Yeah, the reason why there's so much XP um, to go up for Thera is because she is a lower level party member. chest. Ooh, um, armor upgrade. Um,
Huh, okay, I'll fix this on, um, I'll, I'll fix this on, uh, YouTube then. Thank you for the heads up. Uh, So it is. Alright, kill second land and fist. Uh Alright. Where was I? Not action. Defensive slash. And then attack. to level up yet. More crafting, uh, more spell crafting materials. I've seen some adventurers I have seen by many adventurers. They be doing some funky stuffs. I follows them and writes a daily log. Hence the name Pepe's Log of Adventurers. I lost connection for a second. This be the tenth volume due to popularity. I some eyes can observe from your peeps. I can give you the best to teach you the gives you the best disinformation. Read the log path to allied actions. Aha! Writing about me. Okay, we third, but lose some grub and saw them. I saw a new party, and the leader's name be Durgan. Durgan kind of has bad memory and seems unreliable, and yet a swordsman who been. Okay, so this is basically recapping of what we've done thus far. Rico, K something, and. <laughs> All right, so this is basically everything we've covered this far. All right. Prologue. It's for Odom. The labyrinth, where do I need to go? What what do I need to do? Why do I go below? That is, of course, because there's a labyrinth to see. The labyrinth in today's will endlessly was there to see. It won't matter where I go, it won't matter what I do, every day I will go below. It's probably because there's a labyrinth to see. Waste much time case. Game more apart, because with our memory, there's no need to go back to the start. So it is a bunch of okay, it's a bunch of rhymes with tutorials. Okay. Hang on. I think I know where this is going. Alright, so I have my shortcut out of the dungeon. If I can just unlock it.
Um. Okay, Keo has leveled up, and I can't get through this door. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.